Well, Pierce, speaking of guys who just aren't good as a road course racer, is are there some obvious fades here? Do you recommend steering clear of a guy or two? There aren't. And after qualifying in practice, people will perceive that to be the case. They'll say, oh, well, this guy's starting too close to the front, or he didn't look good in practice. Those might be the drivers that you really want to look towards rostering because, as I mentioned, when we go to a stage break, they reset the field. When there's a caution, we reset the field. Everyone stays on the lead lap. If you get track position, you can hang on to the track position. And just because you're a bad in practice, I mean, uh, a couple years ago, Eric Jones spun out like five times in practice, spun out in the race, still ended up with the top 10 based on the way that you know NASCAR is desperate for entertainment and will throw the caution flag constantly. You've got the stages broke, uh, uh, built in. So if you see a guy that people are saying, oh, you can't play him, you might want to play those players. Jeff, what do you think here, dude? I, I mean, I think there's a couple guys you could fade. I mean, I, I, Chase Elliott has a really bad track record on this course, but I mean, I get what Pierce is saying. Like it's, it, it definitely, these things and, and with the new car, Pierce is obviously way more skilled to talk about this than me, but it does seem like this this year, you know, I, I mean, guys like track history maybe just isn't as big a deal as we're making out, but, but Elliott is like, oh, for, he's just not been good at Sonoma. So, I mean, you know, with him at 10-4, and maybe he's like the contrarian play up there, but I, I feel like he's probably a good fade. Kyle Busch just sets up as such a good play or, or a, good, a good driver this week. So um, I think Elliott is a fade up there. I dare say, like, you may even just fade, like, the top two guys. Like, I, I think that, like, Kyle Busch, Martin Truex Jr., and then fading Larson and Elliott might actually be the play there. So I'm not saying Larson is, like, the, a fade. I'd rather fade Elliott, but... I think both those guys you could you could make cases for going against simply from the fact that the the two drivers the other two drivers at the 10k range are are setting up as really good values and and have uh, just as much upside it feels like this week so